Dear colleagues, uh, especially representatives of countries of the Council of Europe, I would like to inform you that starting from March 8, 2022, homes across Artsakh remain freezing. Even at this moment when I'm recording this video, homes remain freezing in all Artsakh. We are talking about more than 100,000 people who are freezing, literally. The situation is unprecedented because I have not seen another case of such actions, which are the result, the direct result of the actions of Azerbaijani forces and political leadership. Because this situation is uh, the result of actions of the sp stated forces, which decided to destroy the gas pipeline which provides gas for all Artsakh. And this incident happened in March 8th and is still not resolved. Although the peacekeeping mission in uh, Artsakh, as far as I've learned starting from morning, I've been here starting from the morning, um, certain actions were taken place. However, the situation still remains equivalent to a humanitarian crisis. Artsakh, as um, you might know it as Nagorno-Karabakh Republic, uh, also has a very serious situation regarding hospitals. So just imagine I visited certain hospitals, um, even the hospital for children, for children, for newborn children, does not have any gas resource and is also a place of freezing. Just imagine, more than 40 patients in a hospital remain freezing. And the only alternative to this situation is the drastic raise of usage of energy resources, which brings to a situation that not only gas is not available, but for certain hours, even electricity is not available for the people of Artsakh. Now, this brings to a situation where I can definitely state that almost all possible core fundamental human rights are being violated for the people of Artsakh. This is not something connected with democratic values. This is not something connected with the uh, conventions, guarantees, fundamentals of human rights and freedoms. Because I can definitely state that the whole group of these rights are being violated. Because just imagine a situation where newborn children, where families which have more than two children, which have um, elderly people, have a condition of freezing. And I've visited certain homes and I've seen it with my own eyes. I can even say that um, I have not even heard of a similar case in any other European country. And all this happens right in front of the eyes of the European um, community, of the community which protects and has the obligation to protect human rights. I believe that double standards should not be in any way connected with this situation because we are talking about humanitarian values, humanitarian values which are not being protected as of now and starting from March 8th. This situation has to be resolved immediately because as of now, Azerbaijani forces do not allow or create certain um, obstacles in order to repair the stated gas pipeline, which would resolve this situation. However, there is no direct progress in this sense. And uh, in the coming days, I will also inform the European community using the parliamentary mechanisms that we have about the whole factual circumstances of the situation that I'm presenting. I have been in contact with the Prosecutor General of Artsakh and I will try to receive the factual circumstances of all the actions that had taken place in Artsakh starting from March 8th. I would like to use this opportunity to ask my fellow colleagues, um, again, people who are watching this video, to try to promote it as much as possible. Because again, this has nothing to do with politics. This has nothing to do with geopolitics. This is simply a humanitarian crisis in the 21st century, which can be solved in hours. 
This is not a situation which requires um, days or weeks of time. This is something which can be resolved in a few hours. And the situation that homes across Artsakh remain freezing can be resolved. All we ask at this stage is simply not to be silent and to conduct the necessary actions to protect democratic values and to prevent such kind of humanitarian crises. Thank you.